lastly, Mr. Speaker, because I can see I should not abuse your generosity to give me time. County allocation. We have been pumping colossal amount of resources to counties. But we have mainstreamed elitism, tribalism, corruption, all kinds of evils. Converse to the hope we have had uh, at, at the initial stage. I think it actually they don't Order. raise it. <laughs> Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the current economic situation in the country is not merely a product of simple uh, step, hop, and jump. It is the cumulative product of a process that has been ongoing for years. The COVID pandemic, uh, the Ukraine-Russian war, the drought that has been with us for the last four years, the debt that has gone to the ceiling in the last government. There is a perception out there that the mere change of government from uh, the handshake government to Kenya Kwanzaa is the making of our economic situation. That is a very wrong perception that I need, uh, I think it should be corrected. It is mismanagement that has been going under other vagaries like climate change. Mr. Speaker, this budget proposal attempts to reverse what has been going badly in the management of our economy from being entirely import dependent to at least uh, be in the manufacturing league, however small. Mr. Speaker, the most, uh, uh, the most discussed aspect of this budget proposal has been the issue of low-cost housing. Indeed, the housing levy is not a tax, and I believe it has a very big uh, impact on our economy, from employment, uh, supporting local industries, and in the long term, bringing down mortgages because it is giving competition to the, pri to bank to the banks entirely. So I believe it should, if it should be implemented, mortgage rates will come down, Mr. Speaker. Uh, one other thing that is hotly debated is the high taxi. The government is not a business enterprise. Governments get their resources, get their money for development and expenditure from taxing. And I believe there is, has been much hue and cry that taxing is going high. It is a global issue. Taxes are becoming high. Uh, there is a recession all over the world. It's just like a labor base. I can compare it to labor pains, Mr. Speaker. I'm the fourth born of my mother. If mothers will say labor pains are really very uh, excruciating, and there is no need, to go, need for procreating anymore, I wouldn't have been born and be the man who I am today in this house. It is just as simple as that. It is painful to raise taxes. It is painful to pay taxes also. So I believe we have to bear with this and make sure that this country can at least collect the, the, the resources it so requires uh, to make sure that we can have money for our expenditures and development. Mr. Speaker, on the budget, there is much good things, including agriculture, to incentivize production uh, than the case of subsidies in the previous government, so that there is much value addition and we can grow crops so that we can be food secure than being importers of food, Mr. Speaker. Uh, one other thing is the commitment on equalization. Equalization has been a very special fund for the marginalized areas. There is a deliberate uh, move to make sure that all that has been pending is actually paid for and it goes to the right uh, counties that are marginalized, Mr. Speaker. That's commendable. There is the recruitment of teachers, which is ongoing. Uh, there has been the recruitment of 35,000 teachers last year, and this brings me to the concern uh, Honorable Fozier has raised, that this government spends funds. Actually, this is a democracy, and democracies are anchored on laws. Budgets are anchored equally on laws. This government has never had the privilege to spend much. This is its first uh, budget proposal, and I believe they have not been collecting as such, and they never had the leeway to spend. Um,